On this 4th of July, we got to thinking about iconic American flags. The flag the Marines raised at Iwo Jima. The one firefighters put up at Ground Zero. The one that flew over Fort McHenry. The inspiration for what would become our national anthem. And as the space shuttle program comes to an end later this week, we were most curious about the flags the astronauts left behind during six trips to the moon. What's become of them? We asked Jim Axelrod to find out. Well, Mike, really, uh, they've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes. When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin planted the first flag on the moon, it was an act of pure symbolism. A United Nations treaty would not allow the U.S. or any other country to claim the moon as its territory. This is a very schematic diorama of what the Apollo 11 site would have looked like. Smithsonian curator Alan Needell says the flags planted by the crews of all the Apollo missions that landed on the moon were goodwill gestures to the world. By and large, the, the symbol was very much understood for what it was as a symbol of pride, uh, but also a symbol of uh, humanitarian accomplishment. But, as Tom Moser knows, it was also a politically sensitive symbol. An engineer on the NASA team that designed the first flag to go to the moon, Moser was told to keep it hush-hush. It was not a military Department of Defense secret. It was just politically, we didn't want the word out before the event happened. From the beginning, there were technical problems. The Apollo 11 astronauts had difficulty getting the pole deep enough into the lunar soil and they had trouble extending the full apparatus designed to keep the flag upright and outstretched in a place where there is never any wind. The wave is a product of what? Of it being bunched up and not being pulled out tight. That's what happened. It, it got bunched. Exactly. But the minor malfunction made for an even better effect, the sense that old glory was waving in the breeze. The flags waving behind are now among the most defining images of our time. But what happened to them is a question University of California Santa Barbara librarian Annie Platoff has been trying to answer. Theoretically, there are six flags still on the moon. Her research can account for four of the six, including this one. That's beautiful. Planted by Apollo 17. She believes the first two from Apollo 11 and 12 did not survive the ignition gases of the lunar liftoff. It wasn't the intention in the flag material itself to last. It was just to be there during the, the, the event. We didn't have a requirement that the flag had to withstand all the environments for eons. Made from nylon, just like the ones at a dime store, though ordered off the shelf from a government supply catalog, Platoff's theory is they're probably darkened and maybe more than a bit tattered. I would guess over time, 40 years, the combination of sun rot and micrometeorite impacts has probably been devastating. I mean, it's not a pretty picture to paint. The only way you're gonna test these theories would be to go back to the moon and look at the flag. Lift off. And with so much of the space program coming to an end, it's not likely that American astronauts will be the ones to discover whether after the rocket's red glare, our flag is still there. Come on out here and give me a salute. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Washington.